Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and worship to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Cha Kudash, the bonds to the elders and the apostles of great millstone. Citations to you, Akim, doing this, doing this thing in truth and sincerity. It's your brother Yaiko out of Great Millstone Atlanta Church. All right. Um, and this is concerning the Defense Production Act that Trump has recently signed in. So this is an RT um, article, and I'm going to get more in depth into the, um, the production act. So this is RT. It says um, Trump Trump invokes Defense Production Act, accusing General Motors of wasting time on producing ventilators. All right. So um, this more so is a decoy. I would have to say, um, yes, he could be utilizing it. Uh, for these means of ventilators, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab the scripture pertain, pertaining to this. This is Second Corinthians, the second chapter, the eleventh verse. It says, "Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices." Right. So, um, this is more so something he is uh, uh, he's enacted. I would say for the control and the manipulation of the people and the populace, more so rather than to get ventilators. All right. And um, matter of fact, and these are wartime power. Let me, let me read the first part of this article, then I'm going to get into the um, production. Act. It says President Trump has invoked wartime powers. All right. So understand we are under martial law because we know that word martial goes into warlike, warlike law. That's why they always refer to the coronavirus as the enemy. That's why we see videos of tanks and um, Humvees and 50 calibers and different um, military um, equipment being transported by book throughout um, America because they are pre they're preparing for World War Three, all right, slash Civil War, slash addition among man, just all out anarchy and destruction, all right, because they're trying to bring forth and establish, may I say, um, and solidify, because we are in the time of the New World Order, but they're trying to solidify this New World Order, all right, so, um, Let's, uh, I'm going to go more so into the article, excuse me, not the article, but the, um, uh, the uh, Defense Production Act, all right? So uh, this, is the, this is the Defense Production Act, all right? It says um, the act contains three major sections, and I'm going to tune in to um, uh, one of the, the, the last section. All right. Um, so, but I'm going to read them all. It says, the first authorizes the president to require businesses to sign contracts or fulfill orders deemed necessary for national security, national defense. Excuse me. The second authorizes the president to establish mechanisms such as regulations, orders or agencies to allocate materials services and facilities to promote national defense all right the third um, it says the third section authorizes the president to control the civilian economy so that scarce and or critical materials necessary to the national defense effort are available for defense needs so this can turn to something draconian very quickly. Controlling the resources of the civilian populace. Now, they, they talk about it as if they're worried about masks when they have plenty of masks. They can make masks. Mask is not an issue. But what about food? Because... These corporations, Walmart is a corporation, Publix, Kroger's, these different grocery stores, these different farms, all of them are, have to abide under these clauses dealing with um, 
the, the allocation of resources. And that's where the people get their food from, grocery stores. This can apply to guns. The gun stores will have to, will have to apply. All right. Strategic resources, survival resources, okay, um, that ultimately we're going to see in the near future is going to affect the people and the populace tremendously, all right, because they're going to try to squeeze um, the serpent, the dragon is going to try to, is going to, try to squeeze the populace into um, complete and utter submission, all right, so Let's go more in depth into it. This is um, FEMA.gov, and this is the actual, um, I'm sorry, this is the actual Defense Production Act in its totality. And I want to go down to Title I, Section 101. Um, let's see. And I wanted to go to um, B, all right? Section B. All right. So, uh, mm. all right. So, this is it. It says, and you know, for time's sake, I'm not going to go through, of course, all of this, but I'm going to tune into Section B. It says, critical and strategic materials. The powers granted in this section shall not be used to control the general distribution of any material in the civilian market unless now that unless basically basically uproots anything that they said before now now this is the real point of it it says unless the president finds that such material is scarce and critical material essential to the national defense. Okay, so what if the food, what if food is critical to the national defense? You people are about to be asked out if you have not been serving how about Shemiah and Shah. And you're about to see the, the real dragons, the, the real draconian spirit, all right, of this damn devil, this so-called white man. All right. It says, and that the requirements of the national defense for such creating um, excuse me. Requirements of the national defense for such materials cannot otherwise be met without normal distribution of such material in the civilian market to such a degree as to create appreciable hardship. All right. And the the point that I wanted to emphasize from there is that. These people, all right, Trump has enacted, a, enacted an act, okay, to basically, this is a wartime act, man, all right? This is a wartime act that basically controls the resources that um, the civilian populace um, have, have to go by. So if he says that, it starts right now, it's talking about GM making ventilators, but the next is okay, because they shut out. Keep in mind, they shut down all the other stores. They shut down all of the other. Basically, most of the other stores have been shut down. So, except Walmart, Target, and a few other grocery stores. Now, when if they want to say, okay, the food is a necess- it's necessary for us to have. Um, you know, especially in the in the in the lockdown when they lock this whole thing down, if they want to say, okay, um, well now it's food when it's 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 a necessary component for the national defense. Then instead of Walmart being in, in if they want to control the allocation of food, we've been prophesying of this, man. So. Walmart now being a grocery store turns into a distribution center run by who? None other than FEMA. All right. These are the times that we're coming into and how you're going to be able to get that food. You got to have the chippy chip. You got to have the mark of the beast that we've been saying is the is the microchip. 
but you people have been scoffing. You haven't been taking heed. You haven't been taking your life or the life of your family serious. So now the price has come. And the tab must be paid. All right. So if you've been doing this thing in truth and sincerity, man, hey, man, you have something to be rejoiceful about because your a standard shall be lifted up for you. But if you've been logging, if you've been, you know, not, you know, really taking this thing to heart and, and putting forth a legitimate, sincere effort. Hey, the Lord is the most merciful, but it's not looking good for you right now because the, the, we are in martial law. I hope you understand that. I hope you niggas understand that we are in martial law. All right. It's drones flying over the cities and over neighborhoods. We're under curfews. No stores are open, but grocery stores and fucking um, and um. In the pharmaceutical stores and, and, and liquor stores to keep you niggas immune system weak and gas stations. And very soon, those are going to be closed too. And it's going to be nothing but uh, certain stores like Walmart, all right, open and, and possibly Target, all right? And that's what you niggas going to have to deal with. And a lot of you niggas going down the famine. Because you didn't take your Howard shot serious. You thought he was a gang when he's not. You, you thought this so-called white man was your friend when he's not. This is the left hand of Yahweh Bashim Shah. The so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. And he's about to make it ever so clear for you niggas in the very near future, man. All right? So this is Second Ezra chapter 15. Verse 14, it says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword in their destruction draweth not, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hand. All right, and another thing, with this um, defense, um, with this, uh, defense Production Act, all right, this also means that they are able, if they, if they esteem that your house your physical house to be an essential to the national defense, then they can confiscate that, all right? They can confiscate, they can say, okay, well, we need to confiscate your house because it's essential to the national defense, man. How do you think these people are going to react? This is about to be all out chaos in these streets, man. All right? And a lot of you people are going to perish in that, man, because you didn't serve your how by Shim Yahweh Shah. So it says, for the sword... And their destruction draws nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another in swords in their hand. And the modern day sword is the what? The gun, the tank, the drone, the missile. All right? Verse 16, and it says, For there shall be sedition among man. All right, sedition is basically speaking of uprising against the government. Because these people, these so called, these regular white people, they're not going for that, man. They're not going for the New World Order. That's the elite white people. The elite Edomites are the ones who really want to push this. The regular American white person is going to fight to his last breath against these damn, against, um, against the, the um, more wealthy um, elite Edomites. All right? And, so -called, and, you, and you so-called niggas too. All right? They, they're, about to try, they're about to roll on you niggas, man. All right? They're about to roll on you niggas because you've been disobedient to you. How about Shimei Shah, man? He, he did it all of a sudden, too. One minute, it, we were prophesying in the street. The next minute, it, it, it not even, we can't even go out, out in the street and prophesy anymore, man. The Lord didn't give you a nigga. The Lord did not give you niggas a chance to get, to get right. He, can't, he, he hit you as a thief in the night, man. And, of course, we understand that's going more so pertaining towards... When he shall return, but as far as you being able to get right and and make your call in the election sure, those times are, are are really almost behind us, man. Because the the best way you can do that is by going out on the streets and teach. But now the Lord has prohibited and and, and ceased, as it seems now, for the most part, the prophecies have been ceased from going out onto the streets. All right. 
Okay, that's how you make your call in the lecture. Sure, of course, brotherly love, fellowship, and whatnot. But that, but being out, you know, on the streets with the altar and giving your body as a living sacrifice, you can't replace that. You cannot replace that consistently, week in and week out. But if you didn't do, if you didn't take this thing serious, man, you are you're about to be in dire straits. All right. And if you are, if you still marching, man, you be, if you still standing, you better keep marching, man. All right, because the, the battle is not won, the war is not won. All right, we still have to endure until the end. Verse sixteen, it says, "For there should be sedition among men and invading one another." See, these FEMA troops, these UN, these American troops are going to be invading people's households, man. All right, these people, for lack of bread, when they cut off the food um, source. All right, when they try to um, control the the, the um, civilian food source, as it just said in the in the Defense Production Act, these people are going to be um, ravaging other people's households to get food, man. All right, you people, are, man, you people are through, man. Y'all about Shimei Shai is bringing forth his his wrath and destruction, man. And if you're not right with the Lord, man, I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't, I really don't. I really do not know what to tell you. Because if you have not repented, and if you do not repent, Yahweh, by matter of fact, I do know what to tell you. Yahweh by Shimei is going to destroy you, man. He's going to destroy you straight up and down. It don't matter who you know and, and who you be with. The Lord's not a respectful person, man. He's about to kill a lot of you niggas, man. He's about to put you niggas to sleep because you're rebellious. And you, you're hateful people, you're evil, and the Lord is not dealing with you, man. Verse 16, it says, For there should be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Verse 17, A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And we see that now with the quarantines. Keep thinking this Bible is a game, and keep thinking that Yahweh by Shimei Shai is not legitimate, man. Okay, all right, you guys are legitimate. Verse 18, it says, for because of their pride, because you people think you fucking know everything, man, because you think you got it down pat, because you think that your ways are, 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 are better than the Lord's ways, man. You, are, you guys are infidels, man. You are illegitimate. Why should, why should earth be proud? You come from the dirt, man. You come from earth and you proud. And you think you don't have to listen to Yahweh by Shem Shah? Have you lost your mind? You come from the elements of the fucking ground, you fucking idiot. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be destroyed. Right, because of your pride, man. It says, the houses shall be destroyed, and man shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. And that's going into the famine, all right? That's going into not having those necessary resources, man. People don't have farms. That they, and even if you do have a farm or a garden, the government under the, under the Defense Production Act can say, oh, well, we need this food. Yeah, hoarding food. These people, are, you see, and you, and you niggas still don't think the so-called white man is the devil. Okay, all right. Okay. Verse 20 it says, Behold, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, I will call together the kings of the earth to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun, which is from the far east, from Japan, all right, from, um, from the south, all right, from the east in Lebanus, to turn themselves one against another and repay the things that they have done to them. Right, and to them is speaking of the Israelites. All right, and that's all going to take place, that World War Three, that um, the Great War, they call it World War I the Great War. No, this is the Great War. This is the greatest war. How about that? That's about to commence. All right? And, and let's see why. Verse 21, it says, it says, like as they do yet this day unto my chosen, which is the elect of the nation of Israel. They misuse the prophets. They abuse the prophets. They laugh. They mock. They scoff. All right. It says, so will I do also and recompense in their bosom 
Thus saith the Lord Yahweh. All right. By Hashem Yahusha. So the Lord's going to recompense you nations and you people for your inequities and how you have treated and handled his precious jewels, the elect of the nation of Israel, the priest of the earth, man. All right. So, hey, if you if you, if, if if this if this um resonates with your spirit, man, hey, repent and be converted and turn back to the heavenly Father with your whole heart. All right, because that's your only chance of making that out of here, man. Other than that, you' about to be worm food. So I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory and worship to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. Bahashim, Macha, Kudash, Salutations to you, Akim. Of course, the ones to the elders and apostles. Shalom, keep the faith. Mwah, Baba, Kwam, Bachayayam.